there YouTube. So uh, welcome back to my lesson two. And today we're going to work out with organic modeling and basic materials and colors to model a flower and plant, which is a very interesting topic on its own. So let, we'll start modeling in Maya by using uh, polygons. So if you are new to Maya, this is a very perfect exercise that you can follow along just like that. So first of all, uh, in order to create uh, uh, um, an organic model, we're going to uh, model a plant. So in order to, for, uh, for me to do that, I'm going to grab this plane object right here. So let's grab plane and model a plant just like that. Let's model a rose, for example. So I'm going to get, get the polygonal plane right here. So in order, uh, whenever I want to drag it onto the grid, just make sure uh, that before uh, you even start modeling or you go to create polygonal primitives and make sure that interactive creation is on. So let me just delete that out. Okay, so what I want to do is create an organic model. So I'm going to go over to the basics that we uh, looked at in previous lesson, the vertices, the edges, um, and so forth to create a basic leaf and then continue on with doing that. So first of all, I want to create a leaf uh, that is a petal for my rose that I'm going to design. So I'm going to press space bar just like this and go to the top view and then create my petal just like that. And there you go, that's my petal. So uh, this might not seem as much right now, but later on, we're going to see that this will actually work out. So what I want to do, do is do now is I want to add in some details onto this. So if I were to go to the side, you can see that the channel box editor is on. So make sure that you are on the channel box editor. And if you don't see this, just press on this right now, right at the end, uh, press on these little option right here until you get to the channel box editor. Okay. So where do I have my channel, channel box editor right here at this section? Yes, there you go. My channel box editor right here. Click on this icon and you can see that you can show in high channel box right there. So now I'm on my subdivision with an height. So this is one and one right now. So what I want to do is let's say I want to have four and uh, four. Okay. Maybe five and four. Uh, that's okay. So I got five divisions and four. Just like that, as you can see. So what I want to do is I want to work with the top view first. So I'm going to press space bar, go to the top view, and then I'm going to get, uh, get my vertex. So I'm going to right click. I'm on my move tool right here. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to be on my vertex tool right now. So let me just select vertex and let me drag and select the vertex right there. And as on my move tool, you can see that I have my move panel. And since, since I'm looking at from the top view, I can just see two axes right here. So it's like moving on to a 2D space. So on the top, I want to get a petal like shape for the rows that I'm going to design. So I'm going to drag this right here. Uh, I'm going to drag this right here as well, just like that. I'm going to drag this right here and you can see that I get, I'm starting to get a pedal like shape just like this. So I can drag this to the left, uh, drag this to the right, just like this, uh, drag this to the top and drag this to the down. So you have a pedal like shape uh, just like that. And I can press three and you can see that once I press three, it actually smooths out. And this, uh, little, uh, a vertex right here is giving a point like shape, which I don't want. So I'm just going to hit delete and you can see that it actually smoothens my pedal out just like that. So I got my pedal shape from the top view. So I'm going to press space bar, go to the side, and then I'm going to drag from the side, just randomly select it just like that so that my random uh, vertices are selected. Pull this a bit to the top, randomly select onto the side, a bit to the top again, and then randomly select and then pull it out again. And there you go. I got my pedal just like that. Okay. So drag this down just like that. So I got my pedal like shape for my rules. So I just want to duplicate this right now. So this is where the magic actually happens. So I got my pedal. All right. So I'm going to go to the top view. I'm going to make sure that I move this to the side. Let's take uh, this point as the reference point. I just want to rotate this around and duplicate the pedal. So let's say right now, if I were to rotate this, how it rotates is like this. So it just rotates out just like that from this uh, intersection point. So what I want is I want it to rotate from this uh, area right here. You'll see in a bit why I want to, uh, to do that. So I'm going to press D and once I press D, you can see that I can actually change the pivot point just like that. So I'm going to hold it right here and leave it right there. So now what actually happens is that I can move the pedal from this around and you can see that it rotates right along that axis over here. So what I want to do is 
I want to press shift D, that's for duplicate. Okay, remember, shift D is for duplicate. I'm going to press shift D and then drag this just like that. You can see that my rules is actually duplicating just like that. I'm going to press shift D again and it takes the same uh, uh, rotation axis and it actually uh, rotates along the same axis. So I'm going to press D again and you can see that it actually duplicates just like that. So there you go. I got my rose petals just like that. All right, there you go. So you can see that it uh, actually looks very beautiful. So I'm going to grab all of these and you can see that if I were to move this around, it actually takes this leaf right here. Okay, this petal right here and takes it as a parent. So this, uh, if you were to deselect and select again, this won't work. So this has to be directly um, after you rotate it. So if I were to drag this up, you can see that once I drag this up, this one, so I'm just gonna make sure that I click on the circular portion right here. And sometimes you might see that your circular portion is quite small like this. So just press the plus and minus on your keys, on your main keys, not your numlock keys. And you can see you can increase and decrease the size right here. So I'm gonna drag this up and down. So you can see that this actually helps. So I'm gonna drag this up, all right, press Shift D, drag this down. Press Shift D again, drag this down a bit, press Shift D, and you can see that I got my basic rows right there. So this is quite easy as you can see. So let's work with the stem. Let's select all of these. Let's move this to the top as you can see right there. So I, I want to work with the stem and the leaf right now. So I'm going to do that. Okay, stem and the leaf. So if you were to press F, you can actually see that it actually focuses on my model just like that. So I'm going to go and make my leaf just like that. So press space. Uh, go back over here, um, this section, and I'm going, I want to make sure that I work with a square. Usually I go for cylinder as well. I will show you in late, later lessons why I, I want to avoid that. So I'm going to go to my polygonal cube and I'm going to drag a cube right here in this section. I don't, I'm not able to see it, but I know. Okay, so let's just see it actually so, so that it's easier for you guys. I'm actually used to working like this, so it's not a problem for me. So let's go to this section, let's go for wireframe mode and right here, I want the stem size to be right yay big, all right, then I'm going to go back to my perspective view and drag it to the top just like this until I reach my pedal, I, until I reach my end. So let's see if I reach my end, I press 4 on this side as well, so you can see that my stem is not all the way up to the bottom part of the flower. So I'm going to go select the vertices, drag this up just like this, drag this up and you can see that I can actually reach to the end just like that. So over here in the object mode, let's just go back and then over here, I'm going to add in some divisions just like I did over here. I just want vertical divisions over here to make give it a more organic look. So I'm going to go to the uh, channel box editor, let's select this, click on the polycube so you can get the subdivision height. I'm going to make sure that I have 10. So you can see that adds division to my uh, flower right there. So I'm going to grab my vertices, just grab this to the top, just like that, uh, to the side. Uh, grab this to the side, just like that, press 3, and you can see that you already get an organic-like modeling, just like that. Uh, and over here in the beginning, okay, there's some error right there. So press Control z so that I don't get that error right here. Press Control z all right. So I want to make sure that I add in some modeling points. So you, can, you see the error because I actually dragged the vertices at the top. It's showing the error. So I have to remake the model. All right. So just uh, grab it just like this. And I'm going to go to the side view so that I grab it till the point I want. All right. So now if I were to add the divisions, uh, then it won't show the error again. So subdivision height will be 10, just like this. Press 3 so you get a smooth like view. So uh, drag this to the side. I'm going to use my side view so that I can I don't actually get the errors. So you can see that I can actually gr grab the side view, side view, uh, go to the side just like this, uh, go to the side just like this, and go to the side just like this. All right, there you go. So from the side again, uh, over here, I'm going to go to the left side, uh, go to the left, just like that, go to the right. And to the right, there you go. And to the left, and there you go. All right, so I got a uh, stem 
of my choice. So with a bit of organic modeling right there. So I'm finally I have to work with the leaf. So I'm gonna use the same method that I use for my. Uh, okay, I actually press Control S. Uh, I don't really to save it right now. So I'm gonna press uh, grab my shape right here. Okay, my polyplane surface, and from the top on the side, I'm gonna grab it to make a leaf-like shape. So just do it like this. I'll add a leaf-like shape. So let's go for a four by, uh, let's say five by five uh, now. Okay, there you go, five by five right there. Delete the end uh, like I deleted in the pedal so that I have easier time modeling. So then grab this uh, in the front. Okay, I needed a bit of division over here. So maybe six divisions will be more like it. Go back because if I were to delete some vertices, then it won't work correctly when I add in more divisions. So go back right here. On the attribute editor, oh sorry, channel box editor, go to object mode. And then I'm gonna add in more division to the uh, width maybe so six with oh not not the width okay so width is five and height is six okay so I got one division in the middle okay that's gonna help me later on in the modeling and then get the vertices delete this one out this one out this one out and this one out uh, pull this to the side just like this pull this to the side uh, maybe I want to uh, grab this out two of these just like this and then rescale this out just like this you'll see later why and then pull this out just like this and pull this part out just like this to give it a leaf-like shape so you can see that the leaf-like shape is actually um, coming out just like this and there you go pull this out to the front just like this and pull this out to the bottom just like this so once you do that you can actually see that I got my leaf right there uh, just like that and then I'm gonna press F I'm gonna go to my vertices and from the top, from the top, I'm gonna select just the middle portion out just like this. And then I'm gonna grab this down. Okay, so I get a leaf like shape just like this, press three. And then from the side view, uh, from the side view just like this, press F. Uh, I'm gonna grab this to the top, uh, just like this, grab this to the top. I get a leaf like shape just like that. It's a little bendy and so forth, bendy and so forth, drag this down a bit all right there you go that's my leaf like shape just like that all right so once i grab the leaf uh let me just give it a placement just like that so you can have as many leaf as you want you can resize the leaf as well if you want it so there you go there you go that's my leaf all right so now what i want to do is i want to add in colors to this so let's say this is going to be green this is going to be pink so i'm going to uh, select all of the these press shift and select this bottom part out so it deselects. And I wanna add some color onto this. So to add in the color, just right click, press assign new material, and then in the assign new material part, you can go to Maya, add in blend, uh, or Lambert. Lambert is for non signy materials. Just remember it has that for now, so let's press Lambert. And then in the Lambert section, you can actually go uh, to color. So you can add in color to this, <clears throat> just like that. So in the color part, Let's just select a uh, pinkish like color. Okay, there you go, that's my color. And on the bottom part, I'm gonna add a blend which is for shiny materials. So in Maya, there's actually the shiny or non shiny materials. So go for blend part, and then on the blend, just select the material that you want, just like that. So I got my red rose, just like that. And after that, what I want to do is I want to combine this so that I accidentally don't move on pedals like this later on. So just select these out, let go to uh, modeling, go to mess and combine, and that's it. So it's combined. So I can duplicate this out and I can rotate this out to give it a bokeh like shape. All right, there you go. So that's how you model a rose and, um, and make an organic model in Maya. So uh, by using the same method, you can actually create multiple plants or even a garden scenery. So you have, uh, so it's all practice and it does take time as you can see. So you have to be really patient uh, while you actually make these kind of things. So that's how you model a rose in Maya. So hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Uh, and as always, please keep on watching. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.